The share of the Fox Valley Conference Valley Division title was on the line Friday night in Carpentersville. As Dundee, Tron, and Jacobs renewed their rivalry two weeks after a 67-63 Chargers win in the first match at Pinalgonquin. At 18-5 and 9-0 and in conference, D.C. looked to win the conference title outright. While 23-2 and 8-1, and and Jacobs looked to win a share of the title that had won the previous two years. Conrad Krutwick gets Jacobs on the board with his Jay in the lane. Marcus Henry then puts D.C. ahead 6-4 with his bucket. And then, off the spectacular pass from Jeff Back, Henry puts Crown up 12-9 with 3.45 left in the first. Off the steal, it's Mike Barch for Jacobs, nodding things up at 12. But D.C. would close out the quarter on a run. Back from the corner. And then Greg McNally from three-point range as the Chargers lead by seven through one. Back opens the second with a bucket to put D.C. up nine. But Jacobs would rally. Mike Peterson with the two. And then off a turnover, Nick Hoffman gets the lay-in to bring the Eagles to within three. But McNally would continue to connect. He'd hit three threes on the night and finished with 13 points. Patton Hofer gets three right back for Jacobs to cut the deficit to 24-21. Back with the turnaround jumper here. He'd finish with 10 points and nine boards. Jacobs would tie the line with a score 28-28 at the half. Beck finds Aaron Reigns for an alley-oop to start the second half. On the other end, it's Crutwick with one of his nine boards and the put-back basket. Justin Strelchek then gets ahead of the pack for an easy lane to make it 34-33 DC. Back to Reams again as DC goes up three. Barge would pick up two of his ten points with the jumper. And then Peterson would put Jacobs briefly ahead with two of his eight points. Back then, off the steal, glides in for the two. With 111 left, it's Crutwood with two of his game high 18. But a three by Rob Stupar would put the Chargers ahead 43 41 through three quarters. Charles Kimbrough gets in the action of the fourth with this easy basket. Then McNally with another from long range as DC goes up four. But Crutwig would answer with a triple of his own. And then with 354 left, he puts Jacobs ahead with a putback. Off the turnover, Hofer to Crutwig as the Golden Eagles lead 53 50. Kimbrough inside with two of his ten as DC tries to keep it close. With 251 left, it's Hofer with the jumper as Jacobs goes back up three. Back would quickly answer, but Jacobs would begin to run off the clock. With 125 left, Reams tips it to Strelchek as DC takes over. But with 35 seconds left, Henry can't connect. DC would get another chance, and a giant risk would pay off big time. As Henry bounces it off Peterson and gets the bucket with seven seconds left, to put DC up 56-55. Inbounding the ball with 4.8 to go, Jagos would get a final shot, but Tim Morant's three comes up short as the Chargers sweep the season series and set the stage for a potential third meeting at next Friday's DC Class 4A Regional Final. It wasn't the first option, but kind of thought it would be there because um, everybody else was supposed to be like a decoy, especially uh, Charles. He was supposed to be the decoy in the middle, rolling towards the basket, and um, that made him screwed up to guard Charles, so that's when I had the space to do it. I, I've never done that ever in my life. It was just a spur of the moment. Yeah, spur of the moment. So we saw it on film, and uh, you know, we just thought that it might be open, and and uh, that wasn't the first option, but you know, we thought it might be there. And Marcus just read it and made a play. I mean, I was just getting open looks from the outside, and I was just taking them because you know, I was in the motion of the offense. I had my feet set, and I had my follow through going. It was a, it was a good night. And we had our opportunities, you know, and uh, DC was able to capitalize. And uh, I, I thought it was a great game. It was a great game. For the Courier News, this is Andy Rohr.